Hello everybody and welcome back. Today I'm talking about transpiration, which is uh, a process considered as an excretion process used by the plant in order to get rid of water in the form of um, water vapor. First we need to know that the plant needs a lot of water if it's compared to a human or a, an animal of an equal mass and by mass I mean weight. So for example a plant with a mass equal to a human. Um, this plant needs 17 times water more than this human. Also a fit down of maize needs about two million liters of water during its whole lifetime. So this is a great amount of water. This is because of uh, the process of transpiration actually. As the plant loses about 90% of um, the water found in the plant or the water that the plant absorbs through the process of transpiration. We know that the plant absorbs water mainly through uh, its roots, then this water moves through the uh, transport tissues like xylem flow tissues until they reach the stem and the leaves, then uh, it reaches the mesophyll tissues in the leaves, uh, then the water diffuses from this, these mesophyll tissues through the intercellular spaces found in these um, tissues until they reach these stomata in order to be excreted by transpiration. This is a type of transpiration. So, the water vapor which is excreted by transpiration has three types. The first is the stomatal. The second is cuticular. And the third is lenticular. The stomatal transpiration represents 90% of the transpired water of the plant. Stomatal transpiration means that the water vapor is excreted by the process of transpiration through the stomata. And the stomata are the openings which are found uh, mainly in the leaves and they are also found in the green stems. So green stems may also participate in the process of transpiration. And since tomata are found uh, with about 90% in the leaves, so the leaves are the organs, or they are the main organs which represent the uh, process of transpiration. This is the first kind which occurs through the stomata, so it's called stomatal transpiration. The second one is called the cuticular transpiration, and this doesn't exceed 5% of the old transpired water and it's called cuticular because it takes place through the cuticle. Cuticle is the layer which covers the plant and this layer is made of cutein. So if some water uh, leaked from this cutein layer as a, in the form of water vapor, this type is called cuticular transpiration and it represents a small amount of the total transpiration amount. The third type is the lenticular transpiration and we can um, conclude that its ratio is about also 5% of the total amount of transpiration and it's called lenticular because it takes place through the lenticels and the lenticels are the openings and the barks found in the uh, wood layer found in the wood layer 
which covers the uh, stems of trees. So uh, also, if some water moves outside the plant in the form of water vapor through the lenticels, this is called lenticular transpiration. So these are the three kinds of transpiration. Uh, at last, we need to know that the mesophyll tissues have um, outside layers which contains a lot of intercellular spaces in order to allow the water to move from these mesophyll tissues into the um, stomata lenticels or cuticle layer in order to be uh, transpired or to be excreted in the form of water vapor and that was the process of transpiration that's it for today and the next time we'll be talking about an experiment to illustrate the process of transpiration and until then thank you for watching and see you